I'm basking in the sun in the South Loop today and happy to be doing it. You couldn't imagine from the size of this terrace I'm in that we're actually on top of one of the old small South Loop buildings tucked into the old industrial streetscape here. This is the terrace of a very large loft condo that we're going to go down into. Carla Walker is the agent and Carla, it's nearly as light down there we'll find as it is out here today. Surprisingly so, Dennis, especially with the six windows of light across the front of the home and the seven skylights. It's quite incredible. We really don't have to turn lights on here until it's dark. That's wonderful. Now, those six lights across the front of the condo, the six the windows, windows, I should say, they bring in a lot of light. They were here when your homeowners bought the place, but the skylights, I guess, and the clear story windows, all that is something they did. Yes, yes. My client walked into the space she fell in love with the ceilings and the spaciousness of it, but she knew there had to be a way to get more light. Natural light was what she was really after. That's great, and brought it in through, again, the clear stories, the skylights, and complementing those original windows. There's a lot more down there than just light. I'm going to go down and take a look. Okay, great. Tops among those additions would be this beautiful staircase. When the sellers bought this place, they had just sort of a spiral stairs here, but what they brought in was this beautiful architectural staircase. I absolutely love it, the way it floats. It's suspended here in midair, and it really does float. Look at this. It doesn't even touch the ground. It's all cantilever. It's just a really beautiful addition that makes the space. And what it complements is the older parts, this gorgeous exposed brick that surrounds us here, and these six big windows. These, again, were here when they got here bring in a lot of light and also bring in a lot of view. You're lucky because right here, you don't have the tallest of the South Loop right nearby. You have the mid-rises, you have the older stuff so that you get a nice deep view and a ton of light. That fills up these three rooms, which are one large space. You've got an office tucked into the corner, this very beautiful living room, gorgeous oak floors. Love these four inch floors. They added a fireplace, which is a wonderful thing to have in a room like this warming it up on a winter day. They added a skylight that punctures this tin roof. So you've got the tin ceiling, the exposed ductwork, you've got the old brick. You really have a feeling that you're in a place that's been here for a while. Uh, then you go to the dining room. I love, by the way, their dining room table, though it doesn't come with the home. Really nice, tucked into this intimate space beneath the stairs. And then you're on into the kitchen. Love this kitchen. It used to be in a different spot. They moved it and they created a really nice contemporary look with these great concrete countertops, bamboo cabinetry, the stainless steel, so that you've got a real contemporary look and it's open above so that I can borrow light in this interior room from the bedrooms. The bedrooms across the hall, again, have those clear story windows. They bring in a lot of light and it's borrowed by this space. So there are two bedrooms there, but I wanna go first to the master bedroom at the end of the apartment. It's tucked away in the back, has a nice big bath, very crisp and contemporary, dressing room, master closet, and then a real comfortable room that is separated from the other family bedrooms by a family room. So you've got zoning. Nice family room and that and the two smaller bedrooms really show what you've got here because you've still got the tin ceiling, you've got the exposed ductwork, you've got the clear story windows. So what we have is the way the South Loop used to be and the way the South Loop is today, both in one property. 